afternoon a chance to see Humphrey Bogart in his last film, The Harder They Fall, Bud Schulberg's hard-hitting expose of the boxing world. Bogie stars as a cynical sports writer turned press agent who comes to realize how badly prize fighters are manipulated by their managers. That's tomorrow at 5 on 2. Over heels here on One in Ten Minutes marks Father's Day by talking to Norman Fowler about his decision to give up his position as Secretary of State for Employment to spend more time with his children. Plus, there's a look at the Cinderella complex and the dangers for women travelling alone on public transport. Before that, we're gilding the lily with the prospecting bear. <laughs> Sunday night begins with Praise B at 6.40, then at 7.15, Siegfried has a problem in the wee small hours. Well, you try to tell me that you've woken me up at this ungodly hour on a Sunday morning just for the sake of a worm tablet? I just told you. There are tiddles. At five past eight, Black Adder has a rude awakening. Not to repay a loan is a sin, and we black monks, we hate sin! Ah, um, Grace, <laughs> may I introduce my mother? At 8.35, Mastermind, the final. This Caithness glass trophy will belong to the Mastermind of 1990. The first question at 9.30, what's this? <laughs> that will make you smile. <laughs> at 10.15, World Cup report, highlights of the Republic of Ireland match against Egypt. At 10.55, a look at transsexuality. The law insists that Caroline is male because she was born a boy. If I commit a crime, I can get sent to a man's prison. Then at 11.30, show jumping from the NEC in Birmingham, where top riders are put through their paces. BBC One, on top form this Sunday night. Now on one fresh off the presses, this week's edition of our new women's mag, Head Over Heels with Lucy Pilkington and Susan Ray. <laughs> Seaside Diner in Cape Cod is the setting for Mozart's Così Fan Tutte this Sunday on 2. Zifan Tutte, Sunday at 6.40 on BBC Two.
Well, back now to tonight on two, and in a couple of minutes, our film The Turning Point stars Shirley MacLaine and Anne Bancroft and marks the screen debut of the Russian dancer Mikhail Baryshnikov. It's a moving story set in the world of ballet, in which former rivals find themselves in a renewed battle of supremacy, both on and off the stage. First, here's Michael Fish with a look at the weather in prospect. Good evening to you. Now that Easter's over, the weather is certainly taking a turn for the worse, and I think in the next few days it's going to be pretty changeable. Not only changeable, windy as well. Masses of isobars, as you can see there across the country, and there are weather systems, those are fronts, and they're going to bring a cl cross cloud and outbreaks of rain. Mind you, we've had a fair bit of rain around today, almost an inch in places, and some thick cloud to go with it, of course, and we can see that meandering its way across the country and heading further south as time has gone on. And that process is going to continue overnight. We'll pick up the cloud and rain now, the shaded area, most of the rain in western parts, and during the course of the night, that continuing to meander very, very slowly southwards. But I think more than anything, the important thing to notice is that clearer weather eventually gets into a good part of Scotland and Northern Ireland. But that's only half the story, because not only are we going to have that cloud and rain, we're going to have some quite strong winds as well, and those winds up to gale force, particularly around those northwestern parts of Scotland. But at least, if nothing else, it is going to be a mild night. Now, by the middle of tomorrow, that frontal system is going to be moving down towards the middle part of the country. Again, we can pick it up, because at the beginning of the day, a fair bit of rain scattered around, especially over England and Wales. There's that clearer weather that's going to be following along behind. And slowly but surely, that clearer weather makes its way further south, eventually tomorrow evening, getting right down to the southeast. And again, as I said a while ago, only half the story, because a fairly windy day in store. But very, very gradually, as that clearer weather comes along, you notice the winds swing more into the west and even into the northwest and begin to ease off a little bit. So for most of Scotland and Northern Ireland tomorrow, it should be fairly bright. There'll be some sunshine, but there will be a scattering of showers. And actually, over southern Scotland, probably quite a wet start to the day, but that'll move away and it'll be brightening up during the first part of the morning. For England and Wales, a lot of cloud around, misty, murky weather, and indeed there'll be some outbreaks of rain, although the heavier rain may well have not reached the extreme southeast first thing, but it's going to be heading down as the day wears on, and brighter, drier weather following along behind, and brighter weather getting into northern England, most of Wales, by the end of the afternoon, but the rain not clearing from the southeast until after dark. Temperature-wise, another mild day in store in the south, 13 degrees is uh, the mid-50s Fahrenheit, but you will notice it feeling cooler and fresher further north. And then to look a little bit further ahead, we're going to find that frontal system continuing to move on into Wednesday, and uh, the winds swinging round to the northwest, so the rain clearing away from the southeast, and then a showery day in store, but a rather cold one. Some of those showers could well fall as uh, sleet and snow over those Scottish mountains, and incidentally, some of the showers could turn out to be quite heavy. On Thursday, some showers around to begin with, but then we're going to have another change because we're going to find a deep area of low pressure rushing in from the Atlantic, and during the course of the day, that's going to bring wet and very windy weather indeed into western parts, and on Thursday night, that's going to move on eastwards. Well, just to finish, a little recap for you. Rain clearing away, followed by brighter weather with showers. That's all. A very good evening to you. Mine eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. He is trampling out the vintage where the grapes of wrath are stored. He has loosed the fateful lightning of his terrible swift sword. His truth is marching on. This is BBC Two. Now we enter the world of ballet as Anne Bancroft and Shirley MacLaine star and Mikhail Baryshnikov makes his screen debut in our film, The Turning Point.
Action! Kenneth Anger is a hate figure for the Hollywood glitterati. His books, originally banned in his Native America, raise scandal to an art form. The stories that interest me are not just the sordid little stories of Hollywood. Using remarkable footage and reconstruction, Anger exposes many myths of Hollywood's golden age, including the violent sexual misadventure that ended the career of the legendary Fatty Arbuckle. The tawdry side of Tinseltown. Kenneth Anger's Hollywood Babylon, 9.30 Friday on BBC Two. Well, just before we part company for tonight on two, here's a look at Tuesday night's lineup, which starts at six with our early evening film set in 1943, which tells the true story of a deception carried out by British naval intelligence in World War II, the man who never was. At 7.40, the first of three programmes, Families at War, traces the fortunes of an Irish family through 20 years of the troubles in Northern Ireland since 1969. At 8.30, Nature reports on our water crisis. We're only in April, and already some parts of the country face the prospect of another summer of host pipe bans and water shortages. At 9, Special Agent Dale Cooper and Sheriff Truman set a man trap in that quiet, mysterious backwater of Twin Peaks. Then at 9.50, the investigative series Taking Liberties asks whether we've learned the right lessons from the Kegworth air disaster. Building Sites at 10.20 returns Derek Jarman to his former art master's house in Dorset. And with the day's main news stories in Newsnight at 10.30 and the art magazine The Late Show at 11.15. That's Tuesday night on BBC Two. And so now we come to the end of our entertainment for tonight on two. We hope you've enjoyed our programmes this evening and that you'll join us again soon. And until then, on behalf of all of tonight's team, this is Reg Sanders at the TV Centre in London, wishing you a very safe and peaceful night. Next week's programme discovers the secrets of the tomb of Tutankhamun. That's at the same time of nine o'clock. There's a booklet to accompany this series. If you'd like a copy, then please send a cheque for £3.95, including postage and packing, to Tutankhamun Guide, BBC Television, London W12, 7RJ. The Cold War may be over, but the fight for survival in Russia's mountains goes on. BBC Two presents The Realms of the Russian Bear, Sunday at 7.15. Angus Deaton graces us with his presence in ten minutes here on Two when he has some news for you. First, a new series with a new look at art. Sister Wendy Beckett shares her expert, if unorthodox, opinions on the painting world. And that's at 9.15 next Friday, here on two. Slapstick is the most ancient and enduring tradition of physical comedy. We seem to take a constant delight in seeing people hurt and humiliated by accidents and acts of violence. Funny business. Five past eight Sunday on two. Rowan Atkinson demonstrates the art of visual comedy in the new issue of Radio Times, which also includes complete listings for all television and... As the first...
First Lady of America Hillary Clinton prepares to enter the White House, Margaret Jay next week reports from Washington on the changing role of the president's wife. He was haunted by the images of young orphans, abandoned within the walls of an Afghani insane asylum. He picked up a video camera for the first time and flew to Kabul, a city under siege. This is a remarkable and very personal video diary of his efforts to relocate these children. War lives and videotape. The winner of the Pre Italia Award. Thursday, 9.30 on 2. Now on to actress Julie Christie highlights the plight of a prisoner of conscience. Tonight's program can be seen again at 11.15 and tomorrow night's presenter is Phil Collins. On BBC One now, Messrs Beaumont and Botham battle it out in another question of sport. In half an hour on two, Sam Beckett quantum leaps into the body of a glam rock singer in 1974. First, bubbly and birds in food and drink. Michael Barry's advice on how to cook the perfect Christmas turkey is included in the new issue of BBC Good Food magazine. In a moment, Sam Beckett steps back in time and into the body of a glitter rock star. First, we open up day eight of the advent calendar. shows fear to tread. How much harm does it do anyway to have global warming? Big science. Questions the latest thinking in science. We label the child defective, biologically and genetically, predestined to be a pain in the neck. Big science. Explores the science of ideas. It's not the United States that has the highest life expectancy. It's the more egalitarian countries. Science and violence. Science against global warming. Science and Unhappiness, Tuesday, 7.30. Big Science returns on BBC Two. You're watching BBC Two. Ten years ago this week, over 60 of the world's top rock bands played at Wembley in Philadelphia as part of the biggest rock concert ever held. This is the first time since 1985 that the original concert footage has been seen anywhere. So now, exclusive to BBC Two and being shown as a part of the African summer season. It's the Live Aid 10th anniversary. <laughs> symbol which was to be accepted throughout the entire world. Sunday night on BBC One. At 6.30, the Antiques Roadshow unearths the treasures of Pinar. For Hamish Macbeth at 7.15, a case of piracy. This stuff could have been smuggled up for Spain, dumped underwater, and left there. 
Uh, well, there's only one thing for it then. Then Susan Sarandon and Nick Nolte star in a true story of courage. All we can hope for is to slow the cascade of symptoms. Are you absolutely sure? You have nothing to blame yourself for. Lorenzo's Oil at 5 past 8, and FA Cubs semi-final action at 10.30. Then Hollywood Angel profiles Sister Helen, whose life story inspired Susan Sarandon's Oscar-winning performance. That's Sunday night on BBC One. The weather details now on BBC One come from Ian McCaskill. Hello, welcome to our last look at the weather. A lot of cloud overnight, but the cloud is broken and will become more broken. A few patches of mist overnight, uh, and perhaps even follow showers in the far north and perhaps fringing that eastern coast as well. Inland, a lot of uh, dry weather, clear spells, a touch of frost in many places, temperatures down to as low as minus two degrees Celsius. The high pressure is still in charge tomorrow, but this weather front will give a lot of cloud in northern Britain, and cloud will stream down those eastern areas as well. Quite a lot of cloud about tomorrow, but bright in the west and the south, particularly one or two possibly wintry showers down the east coast, and some sleety rain moving into northern parts of Scotland. But from the central lowlands of Scotland southwards, I think Sunday is going to be a mainly dry day, just a very few showers breaking out inland as we go into the afternoon. But most places dry, still by no means warm, however, especially down the east coast, only six Celsius there, only eight Celsius at best in the west. And farther showers in many places, especially in the east, during the course of Monday, perhaps possibly even one or two quite heavy showers breaking out in some of these central areas and still really rather cold. But the outlook beyond that, mainly dry but not warm. Good night. Well, just after 27 minutes to three, and as you can see, we've put our clocks forward one hour because British summertime begins tonight. But now BBC One is closing down. Just a reminder that BBC Radio goes on right through the night with both Radios 1 and 2, the World Service on Radio 4, and also a mixture of music, news and sport on Radio 5 Live. But now from all of us here on BBC One, may I wish you a very good night. for a lifetime achievement in comedy. We go in search of the real Ronnie Barker. He's like my brother, my dearest friend, and my wisest counsellor. She's got it all... Uh, all up here? No. <laughs> Down there? No. Oh, really? Really? She's got it all organised. Oh, well. It's the greatest thing in the world to make people laugh. Share my toilet roll, gobba. Well, it's only fair. Look at all these socks I've darned. No, all right. <laughs> to me, he is the governor and always will be. Ronnie Barker, A Life in Comedy. New Year's Day at 8 on BBC One. He's from the moon. He's brown and wiggling. We put him in a spaceship. He makes Elliot drunk. Share the magic on New Year's Day at ten past six on BBC One. Marge is up for a part in the local musical, a further cause of family strife, no doubt, for The Simpsons on BBC Two shortly. While well, BBC One heads for the palm-fringed beaches of Mauritius again, the second of our four daily visits for the world's strongest man.
from Dawn French and her congregation in these BBC videos, available now. A Christmas comedy favourite in ten minutes here on BBC One, guest stars galore and a play what he wrote. It's vintage, Morecambe and Wise. An outcast in a brutal world. I would have always dead. I've been living like a leper, accused of treachery to my king. Down. You will marry Athelstan! And you will sit at my table tonight! But not out. I will not rest nor come back to this house till I face the man who has destroyed my honor. One man's fight for justice in a war against oppression. You go to risk your life, beautiful woman. Let go your hold on me, sir. The truth shall die. Ivanhoe begins 12th of January on BBC One. thought he had it all. Your life as you know it is over. But on the wrong side of the law. Your law firm is the sole legal representative of the mob. He's running scared. If we run, they find us. In a deadly game. You think you're pretty smart, don't you? Tom Cruise takes on the firm. You think it's possible? Friday at 9.30 on BBC One. Bringing us up to date with the Christmas Day news now on BBC One, Martin Lewis. A suicide bomb attack in a German church kills three people and injures 13 more. Working its way southwards, bringing some clout and some rain. Bye bye. <laughs> A love beyond reason. Who is this man sitting in my kitchen? And a secret beyond belief. That man is a liar, a thief, and a dessert. Richard Gere. Why are you doing this? Because you are not Jack Summersby. Jodie Foster. I never loved him the way that I love you. Summersby. You are not my husband. May God strike me dead if I am not. Boxing Day, 10.15 on BBC One. A festive Friday evening on BBC One starts at 6.30 when Jim Davidson and celebrity guests enjoy a seasonal big break. Then at 7... Mr. Menwin! <laughs> what is it? That tonic wine is absolutely marvellous! <laughs> the season spirits are running high in Dad's army. And in the Trotter household, the spirit of goodwill lives on. Isn't it marvellous? The old boys wreck our coat and you two have a potter hat. I'm sorry, Raquel. I thought it was real. <laughs> At 9.30... No lawyer has ever left your law firm alive. Tom Cruise heads a star cast on the run from The Firm. And at midnight... You know who's happily married, I find? The girl and her mother. That's it. From the London Palladium, Jackie Mason wraps up Friday night on BBC One. Al Pacino, Jack Lemmon and Alec Baldwin star in BBC Two's film in just over five minutes. Professional pressures prove too much when a sales drive gets out of hand in Glen Gary, Glen Ross. Classic film comedy here on BBC One at midnight. Peter Sellers leaves a trail of destruction as the bungling Inspector Clouseau in Revenge of the Pink Panther. Before that, no Christmas would be complete without these two.
Paddington dreams. I've just got this hope that one day he's going to just do something out of the blue. Paddington blues. I'm sleeping on wooden floor, waiting to go to LA. Paddington promises. To me, I just wanted a girlfriend. It's brilliant. Paddington news. When I go and see him, I've never done anything right. I'm only working at sure this stage with progress. Brand new stories from Paddington Green, Tuesday night, 10.50, BBC One Wales. I wanted a mission. And for my sins, they gave me one. Mobile phones, I hate them. I just find them really irritating. Mr. Merton. Oh. Room 101 returns Friday at 9 on BBC Two. Are you sure that's the star dressing room? Deadly political games in the premiere of The Assassination of File in 35 minutes here on BBC One Wales. This week on Lamar's Attacks, I'll be whinging on about celebrity. You can't imagine Richard Burton ever telling you what his favourite restaurant was. But Vanessa Feltz will not only tell you her favourite restaurant, she'll meet you there, finish your pudding and show you her caesarean scars at home afterwards. <laughs> to find out why Martin Kemp's doing this... <laughs> oh, I don't know, I am. Don't worry. <laughs> and why Faith from Steps is saying this... I dislike you intensely. <laughs> Join me at 9.30 on Thursday night on BBC Two. As one reviewer said, it's not so much a programme, this is BBC One Wales. Hello there, welcome to Weather View. I'm going to start tonight's look at the weather by looking into the West Pacific, where we're watching the development of a typhoon. Now you can see it here, forecast. Remember these little fellows? Ever wondered what happened next? In Living With Dinosaurs, we'll take you back 65 million years and find out what survived when the dinosaurs didn't. Another chance to see Walking With Dinosaurs, Saturday at 5 past 8. And for the first time, Living With Dinosaurs, Wednesday at 8 on BBC One. I just don't think the human race was meant to be monogamous. This is a love. There's no government training schemes for what I'm good at. It's Friday night, I've got better things to do. Are we going out or not? In your bed just to smoke this. This is a special club. This is a love thing. We all want to kiss the sky. Join our club, we're going to try. Tinsel Town starts Monday at 11.20. Sorted. On BBC Two. Conspiracy theories abound here on BBC One Wales, uncut and with strong language, the assassination file. TV cameras, 2,000 musicians, 2,500 carnival dancers, 20,000 performers, one queen, one big day. The BBC brings you the biggest party for 50 years, the Queen's Golden Jubilee, live on Tuesday morning from 9.25 on BBC One. It takes a real opportunist Buongiorno, principessa. to find the spirit to survive in a place with no soul. Hope springs eternal. Buongiorno, principessa. In Life is Beautiful, an Oscar-winning bank holiday treat tomorrow at 8 on BBC4. Pilot spots flying infant at 30,000 feet. Toddler talks tough. Behind the headlines lies the unbelievable truth. Mild-mannered George Sunday and his wife hide an amazing secret. Uh-oh, looks like a job for Thermal Man. But now they've got a pint-sized sidekick. Thank you, Mummy. Who could blow their cover. Why have you got a hole in your door? I'm making a baby flap. Ardler Hanlon is my hero. The new series starts Friday at 8.30 on BBC One.
It's the World Cup 2002 with the BBC. We've got full interactive coverage. All the pundits are dissecting the England match on the BBC I forum tonight at 8 o'clock. And in 25 minutes here on BBC One, it's Match of the Day with highlights of this morning's matches. First the news with Darren Jordan. A shaky start for England as they draw with Sweden in Japan. The thing about paying your TV licence by direct debit is that it's a great way of spreading the cost. Right, so how did Do you know how little it can cost a month? Yes, I do. Have a guess. But, but I know. No, but have a guess, though. No, but I know, I know the answer. It, it's just over £9 a month. No, but have a guess. Well, all right. Um, £15. Pounds. £15? Pounds. Um, That's rubbish. OK, 12 no, um, 300 To find out how little it can cost to pay your television licence by direct debit, call 0800 328 2020. And to give you a start, the answer's just over £9 a month. This is BBC One Southwest. Here's what we've got tonight for you on BBC One. What have you done? Can we maybe see the bedroom, Mum? No, I told you, that's off limits. What a word with one of your lads, Albert Moxie. It's all still to come on a Jubilee weekend. And before all that on BBC One, it's World Cup Match of the Day. If you've got digital, you can go interactive now. Press the red or text button on your remote control. A journey which changed the face of the Earth. Captain Cook's endeavour is approaching land. If you're an expert in your field... Boeing Tanya Rathamosa. Can your knowledge still be tested? A large proportion of stuff undiscovered by the Western world. If you've got modern tastes, can you stomach the local cuisine? Can I eat one? Hey, look at this, six days on the Endeavour. Oh, it's grown around. The ship. A 21st century crew on an 18th century adventure. Tomorrow at nine on BBC Two. Hey, come on, guys. Come on, lads. So a new season. Up. Hopes are running high. Come on, lads. That has to be a penalty. Are you playing? There's something! Turn him off! I can't do this anymore. They were terrible this evening, Alan. Shambles! That is the weather. We need divine intervention. Bill, oh, come on! Come on! Oh, what a shame! At 1 0, there is still hope. Top corner, 30 yards! The Premiership on BBC Radio 5 Live. We're with you all the way. The Chair, a brand new quiz show experience. Saturday, 6.40 on BBC One. Discomfort guaranteed. Jim and Charlie at their wits end. Bergerac in 25 minutes. First on BBC One... You just can't get the stuff these days. Dimmick trades the garden for the dance floor as she attempts to perfect the art of Latin American dancing. Cheer for Charlie tonight at 7 on BBC One. Join Rick Stein's search for the very best of British food. We scoured the world for flavours, but what we're all getting back to now is just sort of basic good ingredients. A brand new series, Rick Stein's Food Heroes, Thursday at 8 on BBC Two.
and great stories. What's the story in Balamori? Find out from next Monday, new from CBeebies. Scientists in America are planning to create a parallel universe in a laboratory. They're going to make a universe in a laboratory? Yes. I bet health and safety put a stop to that. Bedtime, three nights a week. Starts tonight at 10.30 on BBC One. It's when everything blows up. Lisa gets the ultimatum. Don't miss EastEnders tonight at 8 on BBC One. want to know the weather, wake up your red button. Digital viewers can catch weather forecasts for free at any time with BBC I. You can check the next five days for your local area or international weather for your trip away. Press red now for the latest weather outlook on BBC I. Watch out. I'm an undercover TV reporter. Dom Jolly has arrived on BBC One. Hello. This is Dean, the horse. We've just moved in upstairs. I'm Metal Joe. I've just been released from a metal institution. Well, shut your mouth. Brand new comedy next Friday at 10.35 on BBC One. Three! What happened to your shirt? Fight Club. Now that's what I call a showstopper. You've broken a house. The new year on BBC Three. It is big and it is clever. A museum dedicated to killers and their crimes. If we don't all sign, the museum closes. Their motives. I'm not signing that release. I like this job, Doctor. I love it here. Just forget about me. I can't. And their new victim. Your brother's dead. The museum isn't. Accident, suicide or murder. It was an accident! Martin Shaw stars in an adaptation of P.D. James' murder room. Joining a girls team. Huh? Live the dream. No one can cross a ball or bend it like Beckham. Share the passion. No more football. But you can't miss the final. There's no feeling living, Jess. Bend it like Beckham. No boy's gonna want to go out with a girl who's got bigger muscles than him. <laughs> Monday at 8.30 on BBC One. Star Spell. Five celebrities get tongue-tied. Can I start again? Richard Whiteley, Joe Brand, Jeremy Bowen, Penny Smith and Dick from Dick and Dom. Only one of them will become Britain's best celebrity speller. Comedian. <laughs> Flibbity gibbets. I, I know that's wrong already. Flatulent. Star Spell. Monday at 6 on BBC One. As you know, it is my intention to get fun cotton. To join our organization is my number one. You mean to be your girlfriend. <laughs> number two has returned from serious Arctic. With vital data that may help this plan. Observe the plasma telescope. So cold. Temperatures plummet below minus 40. A temperature our field man had not prepared him for. This organization does not tolerate failure. No, no! No, I need you to watch news round. I'm Blue Peter. I'm a foot back. Watch and learn. I need as much exciting information as possible. You just want stuff to chat burn up with. Snacks, Nigel! How many times? It's not Nigel, I'm Ed. The CBBC channel. No stuff. For an invasion, events.
Today I don't want to order something from the menu. Every day, thousands of people wake up with different moods. Every day, the BBC's digital radio stations provide something to suit each one of them. What do you feel like hearing? Joining a girls team. Huh? Live the dream. No one can cross a ball or bend it like Beckham. Share the passion. No more football! But you can't miss the final. There's no feeling in Jess. Bend it like Beckham. No boy's gonna want to go out with a girl who's got bigger muscles than him. <laughs> Monday at 8.30 on BBC One. Ferguson, we have a block booking that weekend. And Mr. Wenger called. Manchester? Yes, I think someone rang this morning. Keegan, his name was. Oh. Oh, is that not your lot? No, I thought I'd better check. She never puts anything in the book, see? Sorry, Mr. F. The 21st is just gone. Don't worry, Wazy. We'll have that fixed by the final. A little hope can go a long way. The FA Cup third round next weekend. Sheffield United versus Villa. Plymouth v Everton. Yedin versus Newcastle. Live on BBC One and BBC Radio 5 Live. Great drama from the BBC. of the Bahamas, it's 95 in the shade. I'm joining a girls team. Huh? Live the dream. No one can cross a ball or bend it like Beckham. Share the passion. No more football! You can't miss the final. There's no feeling living, Jess. Bend it like Beckham. No boy's gonna want to go out with a girl who's got bigger muscles than him. <laughs> Monday at 8.30 on BBC One. Join Graham Norton in celebrating a classic. The sound of music. A will of the wisp, a claw. A celebration of one of Britain's best loved musicals. A host of stars come together to celebrate the sound of music tonight at 6.30 on BBC One. A museum dedicated to killers and their crimes. If we don't all sign, the museum closes. Their motives. I'm not signing that release. I like this job, Doctor. I love it here. Just forget about me. God. And their new victim. Your brother's dead. The museum isn't. Accident, suicide or murder. They were an accident! Martin Shaw stars in an adaptation of P.D. James' Murder Room. Tonight, 9.40 BBC One. The news now on BBC One with Sophie Rayworth. Help arrives at last in Indonesia, the area worst hit by the tsunami. A film thriller later on BBC One, Gene Hackman's back as Popeye Doyle in a classic sequel, French Connection 2, at 20 to midnight. Marks on her neck. There are no vampires, John. This is madness. 
We have to find where he rests and destroy him. Before the whole world is made dark. Dracula is coming. Soon on BBC One. This is BBC One. Now the news with Michelle Hussein. Tony Blair flies into Iraq to give his support to the government there. Well, Charlotte's back with a very rare breed. Celebrity contestants. Safari School here on BBC Two tomorrow at six. Next tonight, Danger in the Kalahari on Meerkat Manor. Meet Richard, Joker about time. The first time I've got a radio on one of these trips. Sorry. Can I have cotton chips 75 times? Top Gear returns tonight at 8 on BBC Two. <laughs> I got your text. My uh, early means of communication, I'm afraid. I want to see you tonight. James. Good, uh, we'll go through those figures later. Party Animals. New drama starts Wednesday at 9 on BBC Two. See my keys? Do I bore you? What? I found this. Underneath the bed. Oh, honey. Digital TV. I mean, you need more entertainment, is that what it is? It's a gift. For you. What? Thought we could watch documentaries on BBC Four. I like documentaries. I know, darling. To get more from the BBC, do digital. Call 08700 10 10 10 to learn how. Bill Nye narrates the roller coaster story of desert life for a clan of meerkats now. So settle back for a BBC Two double bill. Previously on Meerkat Manor, unlucky Shakespeare fell victim to the wrath of a vicious puff adder. And that's coming up next. Stay right here on BBC Two. Meet James, a man of excitement. I'm pretty confident that's as fast as I'm ever going to go in a car. And enthusiasms. I will go with my father. Top Gear returns tonight at 8 on BBC Two. Speed, control, and plenty of aggression. Tell me about it. Sharp shooting, hard hitting, free wheeling drama with balls. Victory or death. Desperados, Wednesday at 5.30 on the CBBC channel. If you haven't booked your holiday yet, join BBC Four to find out what makes a great holiday destination for us Brits. Kiss me quick. First stop, Blackpool, in all its gory glory. The Super Casino will make it Las Vegas on heat, and if we don't get that, we just do. Then off to rock in quaint Cornwall. There are a series of houses being built that wouldn't look out of place in football as wide. Turkey and a room with a view. This is a classic example of Turkish engineering. The pipes are high, yeah. so they raise the shower. <laughs> and in Enjoy all that Florida has to offer. I'm not going to make you do anything no. that you don't want to do. No. Make BBC Four your destination this February for the Great British Holiday. And if you make a stop every Sunday night on BBC Two, you'll find a brand new series of Top Gear starting tonight in less than half an hour. First, welcome back to Meerkat Manor. Previously on Meerkat Manor. And that's at ten past seven next Sunday night. Next tonight, Top Gear. It's back. So stay right here. The boys and their toys are back. A shiny new series of Top Gear coming up next. And later, the weird world of Louis Theroux. His more memorable encounters. It's all here, Sunday night, BBC Two.
investigates how Britain's biggest drugs company buried the evidence that linked the antidepressant Siroxet to suicidal tendencies in teenagers. Panorama, Secrets of the Drugs Trials, tomorrow at 8.30 on BBC One. This is your day. never makes excuses. Come on, let's win! Because there's no excuses to make. Jeff, you have to find your own solace, your own drive, your own ambition. When winning is everything, anything can happen. Six Nations starts Saturday, live and exclusive on the BBC. When did you leave it in the pub? When, uh, last night, Kirsty wants to become an MP's researcher, so she came to me for advice. So, it was somewhere between hitting on the intern and getting another bag of cheese and onion crisps. I was trying to help Brown. And you thought you'd show her a researcher at the peak of his powers. Party Animals. New drama starts Wednesday at 9 on BBC Two. So, the weird world of Louis Theroux straight after a brand new series of Top Gear. Sunday nights on BBC Two are looking good. Well, you don't want to miss that. The earlier time, 5.25 next Sunday. Mobile phones from the past. The Victorians invented the first. And it's on the Antiques Roadshow next on BBC One. The one to watch tonight. Are you one of the nurses? I'm your wife. Moving drama, recovery at nine on BBC One. This February on BBC Four. What do you want? I've cracked it. I thought the doctor told you to stay in bed. No, no, listen. The whole acid thing, it's not acid at all. It's the name of our killer. The whole of our lab is what we call a drugs from bugs enterprise. They've decided to do the safety tests on themselves. Dr. Alan Brown has for several years been a willing host. Would you like to join us? No. Actually, yeah, why not? Oh, I love doing that thing, by the way. Which, which one? The Notting Hill. Coming soon to BBC Four. <laughs> Here on BBC One, Jonah's in for a rough ride and when his mum arrives to take him home. Drama with Rough Diamond tonight at eight. Now though, follow the treasure trail to the Lancashire coast.